Hi everyone, this is Nick from Lewis Foreman School. So we continue our storytelling for your listening practice. And uh, today I just remember a funny story. Of course, you uh, you know these English um, greetings. How do you do? And uh, that's what I was taught when I was uh, in school, you know. But later on I found out that um, in US nobody's using that. Well, you know, the American people are saying, how are you doing? And um, that's one thing. Uh, the second thing, it doesn't sound like a question. All the time uh, you hear this, how are you doing, is not really a question. It's like, uh, instead of hello, you know, and uh, the, the, the major mistake you may, you may uh, you may make, um, and what I did too, was uh, ans trying to answer these kind of uh, questions. Um, how are you doing, somebody could say, without even inten any intention to really uh, find out how you're really doing. And then you would say, okay, I'm okay, I'm studying in this school, blah, blah, blah. And you start, <laughs> you start to tell how you're really doing. And you may see a surprise in the face of your opponent, you know, who ask you this. Um, so, when you enter the store, for example, and the shop assistant would say, How are you doing? The correct way of answering this is say, Oh, good, how are you doing? Or so, Hi, thank you, or something like this. So, it's not really a question. And you may think it's only American kind of tradition. But it's not. Notice um, this kind of tradition in Russian language too. The question, how do you do or how are you doing? Uh, we say good, normal, blah, blah, blah. So it's, 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 it's more like a tradition. It's not a real question. It's more like to, to set the contact, to start um, say something, get the answer. And here, maybe you can continue or maybe you're not. You, I mean, you just go your way. So. The second, uh, the second way how to use how are you doing, I noticed and was a surprise for me, was in the, in the just public area, you know, in, a, in outside, for example, in the park. One time I was running in the park and, and then I walked for a while and then I saw a, a woman um, and there was nobody around, you know, besides us. And, and she smiled and said, how are you doing? And then later, I uh, I noticed that local people. It was uh, quite, it was quite small town in Florida. I, I noticed many people in the street would say, who I completely don't know, say, "How are we doing? How are we doing?" And then I asked my friend, uh, local who was local there, American friend, what why, why are they asking? Um, it looks like, uh, it looked for me like uh, they tried to say something like. I'm not dangerous, I'm safe, so I expect from you the same. It's like those, so they smile, say, how are you doing? And they just walk further, you know, and, uh, and, and then, and you say, oh, okay, how are you doing? And, and you just walk your way too, you know. And, and then he said, yes, you're right. They set this kind of contact and it's more like non-verbal communication. They kind of saying, "Yes, I'm not dangerous. You're not dangerous too for me. We we are here. You know, nothing will happen. How are we doing? And then that's it. Nothing. So, the, so that that's kind of ritual. You know, it's not it's not a question. It's just ritual. It's kind of tradition. So, those two ways of using how are we doing, I wanted to tell you. See you next time.